She's full on just going over and slapped him. Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode of The Sims. Today we are actually in San Moishu. Maishuno, San Maishuno. You can imagine a sim saying it. I understand it now. We are back in in the city with these little cutie pies here. This is the first episode I've recorded since Christmas Day. So I hope you guys had an amazing, amazing Christmas. If you celebrated it, I hope you got loads of awesome presents and spent loads of time with family and friends and just basically had a lovely, lovely day. As you can see, I still have all like my Christmassy background. I kind of feel like you you leave it up for a, you know a couple of weeks after Christmas. It's not too long, but you definitely have it there for a little amount of time. I've also got these cool new Slime Rancher plushies. If you haven't watched my latest Slime Rancher that came out on Boxing Day, give that a little watch because I show off these lovely little guys in a little bit more detail. And also, you know, since I'm leaving my Christmas decorations up, I kind of feel like these guys should do it as well. So these guys are going to be leaving theirs up too. So I have a few things that I want to get done in this episode. I don't know if you can tell, but Ali had a cold all last week. And he's passed it on to me, you guys. I am I feel full of cold now. I feel a little bit ill. I still really wanted to get a video up for you guys. But, you know, I'm definitely not feeling 100%. So it might be a slightly shorter video than usual. Little Jess already has work in two days. So she'll have tomorrow off. And Roxy actually also has tomorrow. So I was thinking, this little cutie pie here, I know he's not been a toddler for absolutely ages, but I kind of want him to stay not too far away from Faith in terms of his age, because obviously those two are very cute together. I'm enjoying this little dance, by the way. Oh no, there's something wrong in this little house. I'm gonna have to figure out what that is for MCC. But I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying the music. And I'm kind of thinking that I want to age him up so he's not miles away in age compared to uh, little Faith. So I was thinking in today's episode, I will age this little cutie pie up into a toddler. Oh no, uh, so into a child. I'm getting a lot of MCC crashes, you guys. I might have to remove the mod quickly and then come back to you guys. Okay, so I'm back and everybody in the house is asleep, which is great because they, I, I want to age up Ryder on a Sunday. I can invite all the family around. I can check and make sure that... How loud? How loud? They're meant to be all sleeping. How could anybody sleep with that on? That is so loud. Okay, so I let me go to the little group thing. I don't think Ryder's technically in the group, so he can't go on it. But here's the calorie aching clan. Look, look at this. You guys were like, oh, you didn't remove romance because you didn't click um, a save afterwards. But I did, because look, they can only be friendly, funny, uh, hug everybody and tell jokes to everybody. In fact, I could probably- oh no, I can't edit it, can I? I was like, I could probably add another activity, but only uh, Emily is able to do that. So, you know, I gotta leave that well alone. But I can at least use that today to get everybody to come round. And of course, Connor is now in it. And hopefully I'm gonna be able to add a little rider to it as well. Jessie had woken up in a real flirty mood there and she wants to try for another baby with Roxy. I mean, you have two kids now, Jessie, and Ooh. you ain't getting any younger. In fact, how old is Jessie meant to be? She is, oh, you can't see how many days oh. into being an adult she is, but she is an adult. She's not an elder yet, but she is definitely an adult. And I just love Jessie so much. I love her eyes. I think her eyes are really pretty. And I'm like really sad when we're gonna have to take all these decorations down because I love the way that we did the flat. So on Christmas, there was quite a lot of kerfuffling around. Jessie actually left Christmas really early. And so did Jay, actually. And we know that somebody was flirting with somebody else as well. There was definitely some flirting going on because Emma was really mad. So I want to actually check and see if the flirting is on Jessie's side. Oh, look, she's got a good little relationship with Frank Carino. So, yes, it was. It was those two. She is apparently a lovebird with Jay, but... She doesn't have like any sort of first kiss or any, like this. This is the first thing I've recorded after the Christmas episode, is it? Oh no, I actually recorded in the suburbs. So we might not be able to see if she'd actually full on. Oh, <gasps> Frankie has grown from a kid into an adult cat. She can now climb stairs, not that we have any in the apartment, as well as hopping onto and resting on higher flat surfaces. She can also mate with other cats if she isn't spayed. Hello, uh, hooray, sorry for Frankie. And let's have a look at grown up Frankie. Oh, <gasps> Frankie, oh, you're floofy. You're a real floof ball. I was not expecting this level of floof, but I, I am impressed and I'm appreciative. You look amazing. 
Well, oh, don't do a hairball. No, we're good. She's just doing a sniff. Well done, little Frank Reno. I was going to get Ryder to come in and give her a little hug, but he's he's sleeping for his big day today. Uh, but anyway, oh, well done, Jesse repairing the toilet. It is Jesse and Jay that do have a little bit of a romance thing together. It's not as high as her romance with uh, Roxy. And you remember the cat adoption lady tried to flirt with Jesse as well? But look, her romance with Jesse isn't really that good. I think somehow these guys have kind of drifted apart a little bit. I don't really know if it's having a kid. Like, having a kid will do that for a lot of couples. But it's funny, because whenever we see them in other TV series... Other TV series? Whenever we see them in other Sim series like Dreamhouse, these guys are, like, kissing and, like, loving each other all the time. Maybe they're just really affectionate anyway, but romantic-wise, they're not hugely romantic with each other. She is going to go and hug her, though. Oh, I think we should cook some nice food. Invite everybody around. Uh, have little Ryder's birthday. And then the other thing that I was kind of wanting to do, and I want to get your guys' no, feedback on this. We created a really cool alien girl character. Oh, and you I guys were know. like, it'd be really cool if she was actually in a Sim oh, series. <gasps> Look at this! She might not have a huge amount of flirtation with Roxy, but she still wants to give her a little kiss on the cheek and stuff. Maybe it's just motherhood. Like, motherhood is really tough, you guys. This stuff's bound to happen. So why don't you girly whirlies get up, get showered, get dressed. Get everybody invited round, and then I can finish sharing my idea with you guys, which was that we get Jesse to go to work a little bit more and start actually working on that um, spaceship, and then we can try, and if she gets good enough skills, she needs to really level up her rocket sign skill, because otherwise you can die with the whole rocket ship thing, which would be pretty trudge. Uh, but I want to get her into space, and maybe she can bring back, what did we call the girl alien? I can't remember what I called her, but she looked kind of like an Asari. Maybe we can make like a toddler version of her in space and Jessie can bring her back. Let me know what you guys think about that idea. I think it'd be really cool. And it would be nice to have like a really different like sim in the series. So I'm going to cook for Ryder's birthday this tofu chicken saltimbocco. Uh, because then of course little um, Kira can have a little bit of it as well. So once Jessie's all ready, she will get on that grind. And this little bum bum is still doing doing a little bit of a sleep. The other thing you guys always ask me to do actually is do up this room a little bit more. Oh, look at him wrecking. Hate the neighbor. Do up this room a little bit more for Frank Arino. I am totally down for doing that. I think as well, even though he's a cat, he's probably gonna rip up the carpet. I think we should give him some like nice floofy soft carpet in there too. Are these the only carpets? The carpet selection in The Sims is not great, you guys. It is not great. Okay, give him some nice plush carpets. And then let's just get him loads of nice pet stuff. See, there's not like loads for cats. That's the thing. There's a lot for dogs, but not so much for cats. Oh my gosh, how ridiculously huge is that? Why is all this stuff so big? I'm gonna get him like a little sort of little base to hang out in. Another little scritchy scratchy post so he never scratches around the house. I might get him this base as well. I don't know why I keep calling them bases, but I do. It's a base to me, okay? There we go. He's got two bases now. I'm gonna do this cool, like, zebra. Zebra pattern like that. And then I'm I've put this big fake fur floof down so that he's got nice floofy paws. Oh, it's, it's going into the room a little bit. Can I fit that in here? I might not be able to. Okay, that's the best I can do. But look, nice soft floofies for him. And then let's put some, like, little cat wall decor. So it's a super kitty catty room. This is when you know you're a spoilt cat. <laughs> <laughs> when you've even got your own cat room. Or oh, how you know your owners are a bit mad. I would make a room for my cats. <laughs> I'm gonna make them black. There we go. Little black wall pads. So really like cat pictures. Ooh, more cats. More cats. Make Frankie feel like he's got loads of friendos. Tease him with this bowl of fish. Oh, so full of cold, you guys. <coughs> and then look, a glorious cat portrait as well. And a, gl a gold cat. And a non-gold cat. Oh, and look. <laughs> I could literally go over the top on this cat thing, which I love. <gasps> oh, we should get one that looks like Frankie. He's like brown. I guess that's the most Frankified one, isn't it? I'm like, where is he to compare? He's literally there doing a poop. <gasps> jazz cats! Oh my gosh. Yes. Need some jazz cats. Put them there for him to look at. There we go. I think the cat room is pretty badass now. You guys wanted a cat room? There is the cat room. Let's pop that in the middle of the cat room. The beautiful cat room. And little Ryder has his aging up today. A lot of you guys have been like, oh, I don't like his pink hair. It's not natural, blah, blah, blah. <gasps> Did you forget that he had a rabbit, by the way? Ryder has a pet rabbit. It never moves, but it sure is cute. But 
I have so many kids with brown hair or blonde hair or even red hair. I want a crazy cat hair, okay? We've done all the others, so this is what we're doing now. Did I say crazy cat hair? Crazy colored hair. I want a kid that's got really crazy colored hair. And I also like that he's androgynous. I think that's just like a cool thing about him. He's got this androgyny business about him. Oh my gosh, why such serious music? It's kind of like a little bit too, uh, too serious. It's taking itself too seriously. Let's put on some nice singer-songwriter, okay? Oh, we better tidy up out here as well because it's gross. Look at the rug coming through. I don't want all the guests to arrive and then instantly be in a bad mood because it's so gross. Throw it away. Is it because this is blocked? There we go. Okay, rider is up. Can we give him some food on there, please? A little bit of cereal for him. Oh, no, you're not meant to eat it yet. Go pop that away, please. Oh, why are you eating already, Jesse? <gasps> she fed him and he's still thrown it on the floor. What the hell? You're hungry, you silly little pookaroo. Why would you throw it on the floor? It's, maybe it's because he's silly. He is a silly little baba. Okay, eat that nice food, okay? And she can have a nice little chit chat with him. Should we see where his skills are at? I'm still going to age him up, but let's just have a look. Okay, his communication and his imagination are really good. I kind of want Ryder to be a little painter like Claire was. I just kind of feel like because he's an imaginative kid, he's kind of got that vibe about him to me. His movement is pretty good as well. It's a four. His potty is two out of three, which is good. His thinking is not so good. So he's going to be a much more creative sim and a bit less of an intellectual sim. So he's taking more of Roxy than he is Jesse because obviously Jesse is the brainy, like, genius sim. And Roxy is our, like, um instrumental more creative sim i'm still kind of sad though that jesse's gone and had this whole flirtation with jay i don't know how emma's gonna take that either because emma was absolutely devastated last episode but the thing is emma had the um cheated thing which is more than just i've seen someone flirt it's literally i've seen my partner cheat and jesse doesn't have enough romance i wouldn't say for them to have woo wooed with each other and she doesn't have any like anything here that says they've woo wooed and they're only lovebirds. It's a connection. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on there, you guys. You might have to help me out with that. Okay, I think... How is little Ryder looking? Can we get him into his day clothes, please? Oh, he's having little hugs with Roxaroo. Let's get him into... Oh, why don't we get him into his super smart little clothes, okay? There you go. You're in a little suit, all ready for your big day. And then um, let's invite everybody over. Kira, you're coming over here, my love. You don't have to worry about us going there. We're starting the Calorie Aiken Club Gathering. So everybody should be coming here. <gasps> it's messy. Quick, throw it away, throw it away. Jamesy Bobs is here, little James. I don't know where he's going, but he is the first to arrive. No, throw it away. Why can nobody clean this up? There's a bin right there. Oh, it's because we need to empty the trash. Oh, he's having a little chat with Faith. Little cutie pies. Don't forget those two get on really well. And also, Ryder gets on well with James because he spent a whole day babysitting him. James, who's now got a few little flecks of grey in his hair. He's getting a little bit older. And who is still the cutest bean in the whole world? Like, I love James so much. And little Ali Bear as well. Although, didn't you guys say that Ali tried to flirt with Max or something? I don't even know what has gone on there. He also has a little bit of romance with, um, with Taylor. So it's all really weird. Taylor, who's just walked in the room. Okay, why don't we get everybody to come and have a nice little bit of tofu chicken? Little Max Rooney is now obviously in the group as well. So he has come round. Little Connor is finally in the group. So he's come round as well. Charlie Rose is here. But, you know, her boyfriend, her baby daddy, and her baby aunt. <laughs> so I think baby must be with Asha today. Or Jamie. Who knows with that one? Who actually knows with that little button head? No Jay, though, I'm noticing. Look. Jay, unless I just can't see him, Jay has not turned up. I think, bless him, Ali's doing a little bit of cleaning. No Claire, either. Claire, oh my gosh, I thought for a second, is she dead? She's not. Oh, she's there. There she is. Please don't die on me yet, Claire and Ali, okay? Little Max, who's now good, which I'm really happy about. Although I can't see Emma. I don't know where Emma is. Okay, Jesse, why don't you go and uh, make a little birthday cake, okay? Let's do this cool blue confetti cake. I like that one. And everyone's just catching up and having a little chit chat. Faith's being a cute little bunhead with her cute little frecklerinos. Oh, look who's in the group now as well. Little Abel is in the group too. Actually, I say as well. He was... A what? 
Since when did those guys have a secret handshake? What the hell? Uh, he was actually there on Christmas Day, Abel, wasn't he? Okay. Jay is here. And Emma is here. So we're gonna have to be careful of the whole Emma, Jay, Jesse, Roxy, Love Square thing that is going on. Everything seems okay at the moment. Nobody's doing any, you know, naughty behavior, especially since we've taken that away from the club activities. I, I can't believe that was a club activity. I just thought they would only flirt with, you know, people within their actual existing romance relationships. Although look, Jay's flirty. He just got the little rose thing. Needs to be careful, okay? Luckily, you know, Jessie's baking, so she can't get into any trouble. And she's having a little chit chat with everybody, including Ali, who's just looking at her like, proud dad, proud dad, Ali Bear, and you know, Hunchback of Notre Dame, Mummy Bear. That's me. I don't know what's going on with these two either. I think they're still technically boyfriend and girlfriend. Although I know that their romance bar must be like zero at this point. They're not talking either. He, she was chatting away with Lilith there and she's not said a word to Jay. Hashtag awkward. But look at these two catching up as well. How cute is that? James who's like, I literally, I'm not gonna fall out with you over the whole baby thing. You're my baby girl. I don't care the circumstances. You're the most important thing in the world to me. I love you the mostest of all. Cause he's a good daddy bear. Oh, look at these. I love this. I love like watching them all just interact. I can't control them. They're not in my party at the moment, but they're still all being really cute and nice to each other. Okay, okay. Oh! Okay, that I was not expecting. These two obviously still have romance together, you guys. Although Jay's walked away straight away afterwards. They still are technically boyfriend and girlfriend, I guess. I guess this. I don't know why they're still trying to make it work. It seems like the most dead out thing in the whole world. And what is Jessie doing? Jessie's going to go slap Jay. Maybe because she knows that. <gasps> She's full on just go over and slapped him because she has romance with him, but he's still trying to make things right with Emma. Okay, everyone's having a little bit of a dance with themselves there. Uh, what what grounds does Jesse have to slap Jay for kissing his girlfriend? She's got seriously jealous about that. That does not say good things for Joxy, you guys. It literally does not say the good things for Joxy, which is a little bit worrying. Okay, where's a good place to put this cake? I'm thinking maybe here. Uh, and then I can add some little birthday candles. And then I think Roxy should be the one to age him up because I kind of feel like those two are more similar. So I need help blowing out candles for little Ryder Roo. Who's gonna, don't, nobody take the cake, okay? Nobody take that cake. I can't believe Jesse just went over and slept him. Jesse, what the hell? Why, you can't get jealous. It's not your boyfriend. Does she want it to be her boyfriend? I don't even understand. It makes me think she does really want Jay. She wants Jay. And this has kind of been going on for a while as well. But look, blow out your little candles, Ryder. You're ready to become a child. Where are you? Oh my god, let's have a little peek at what they've done to him. What? Why? What? He looks nothing like the way he did before. His clothes aren't hor horrific, but he does not look like little Ryder Bear. Okay, so we need to give him a tray and we were gonna say creativity, you guys. So he's gonna be an artistic prodigy, a prodigy, prodigy. And also I would like to give him, huh, which one? I thought, yeah, creative. Okay, we're gonna give him the creative art level. Uh, sorry, the artistic prodigy and the creative trait. So he's following in mummy bear, Roxy's footsteps. And now we immediately need to edit everything about him. Okay, so can we just talk about how horrible the default eyes are? Like, why are his eyes so like bloodshot? I hate them, I absolutely hate them. I'm also gonna take off that hair, so. <laughs> the first thing I wanna look is, does he need any little skin details? Let's take off his ugly outfit as well, cause then it's easier to see if I'm accidentally, you know, giving him boobs. He look like those eyebrows are making him look so mad as well. Why are you so mad? See, that's um, Faith's skin, so I don't wanna give him that. That skin's always really cute. That skin is, actually kind of scary. It's a bit less so like that. That looks quite realistic, doesn't it? Which one of those two? It's a tough one. What skin does Roxaroo have actually? Cause I, I feel like in my head he's quite Roxarific. Oh, he, uh, um, she has one that I can't actually put on him because he's too young. And also I don't know if it's available for boys. It's also that one that's quite cute. I quite like that actually. And I like to put little gentle eye bags just cause they look a bit more realistic. Stop smiling, stay still. <laughs> and I like little tiny mouth creases at the edge as well. 
These are just like all my little personal preferences when it comes to making a sim. I'm definitely gonna get rid of those angry eyebrows as well, don't worry. <laughs> and then he needs some- Oh, if I do the eyelashes, it's taking him off. Okay, so we'll do the eyelashes here. I kind of want to keep those like androgynous vibes, so I'll give him quite pretty eyelashes. And then let's just quickly swap his eyes back. What were his eyes? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I'm gonna look at when I first made him so I can give him the same eyes again. Because I think they were like greeny bluey kind of eyes. Yeah, they are. They're really greeny blue. That, I think those are his eyes. They look right to me. Yeah, those are little Rideroo's eyes. You know what he really does? Look like Roxy. I think he's got properly like, he's got Roxy's like big eyebrows and he's just got really strong Roxy vibes. Which is cool because he takes after her more as well. And also because, you know, Jesse's being a toe rag right now. So I definitely want to soften his eyebrows a lot. And I quite like those, but they're a little bit almost too soft. Like he's a little bit like, I don't know, a little bit too much. But then in my head, he's quite like a sensitive child, you know? Likes his painting. You know, he's quite like a little softy pie. Although those ones are cute too. Okay, I'm gonna keep those ones on him for now because I think they're really sweet. And then let's have a look at all... Uh, oh, why am I informal? Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> I do this all the time. Okay, so here we are. So that was the hair he was like born with. He's always had kind of long hair, so I can kind of see that. But I've got some new boy hair so we can go through them all. Because that one's quite pretty. Like, I still want to make him crazy hairs, you guys. You might not like it. But it's how he is. Although he looks pretty badass with white hair, I'm not gonna lie. That's Salma hair. I love this new hair, by the way. I think, um... I think it's on the Fabine blog. And it's a redo of a Leah Lilith hair called Anto. I think it's Anto. It looks really pretty on him. He's so cute! Okay, we've got this one. I got this one. But obviously it's not for him. I was thinking it's more for if Anthony and Kira had a, had a baby, maybe we'd go down that route for the old hair. Uh, and then I've got this one as well, which is also very cute. And maybe is a little bit more him. Because then I could give him this and it's not like a totally weird hairstyle, but it is still like quite a cutesy one, you know? So for me, it's definitely between- Oh no, there's more, there's more, there's more, okay. There's this one that just kind of goes backwards a little bit. Which again, very cute. Uh, there's this one, which kind of, this is the same as what he had when he was a kid. So we could just carry that one over and have a bit of like, you know, a crossover before we change his hair out. There's this one, just kind of shaved on one side. Again, very cute. And then that one's Connor's, so he can't have that one. Also, it doesn't suit him. Like, it really suits Connor, but it doesn't suit him. And then we've got this sort of like more long, sort of very cute one. I don't know, I'm kind of loving that. I'm actually sort of in love with this hairstyle. And although I like it in white, he had pinky sort of hair before. So I'm kind of thinking that for him. I think that's really cute. And now we need to decide some little clothes for him. He didn't really have too much style as a kid. He just sort of dressed as a superhero. I don't know. Maybe he just like dresses. Like, I don't feel like he'd be like, oh, cool, like Connor. I think he's more sort of like a... I don't want to say nerdy, but just more like he's... He's younger. He, like, seems so much younger than him. And, like, he likes drawing his pictures and, like, he's probably really into, like, comics and stuff. So I think he'd like this kind of stuff a little bit more. I kind of want to give him a cute little Groot t-shirt. Let me know what you guys think, but in my head he's definitely more, like, a little bit of a sweet and innocent child than Connor is. I might make him just like this. Like, really sort of relaxed, cutesy little kid. Very sweet. Very innocent, very lovely. Oh, do I need to give me his hair back for every outfit? <laughs> it's weird, I downloaded some skinny jeans for boys, but they've not appeared, which is pretty annoying. I also thought I downloaded like some chinos for boys, but they've not appeared either. However, I'm liking this cute little formal outfit. The little green socks, how bonny is that? How tiny are his feet? Why are your feet so small? This was his like default athletic, which I'm kind of tempted just to keep really. I think it's quite cute, it's fine. Then his bed clothes. Yeah, I think he'd wear like these sort of bed clothes instead. Like his little comic-y sort of ones. He's just like a bit more of a sweet child, you know? And then his little party gear. Again, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Although I'm kind of liking this very like European look. And I kind of feel like he's pulling it off. He's quite a styling kid when he wants to be, you know? But he just likes the comics too. Look, that's my mums have dressed me. That's I've dressed myself. <laughs> there we go. So here we go. This is little rider room. A little bit more grown up. Really cute. Really like sort of a sweet, innocent, little nice child. And just sweet. And very boxy. 
Like, he is a mini Roxy, in my opinion. He looks a lot like her. But then he's got, like, Jesse's hair. So you can still tell he's part of the fans. So, guys, let me know what you think of little Ryder Jet. He's lost his aspiration somehow. So I'm going to make sure he's got that back. And there we go. Ryder, you're ready to join the world. You couldn't look any younger than Connor if you tried. <laughs> Oh, he's got his little cute formal outfit on for his own party. And do you know what we need to do now? We need to update his room a little bit, I'm thinking. Like, we need to get rid of his toddler bed. Connor's in there. Connor's in there playing with the dollhouse, I think. See, the thing is, there is, like, a, a more grown-up version of the same bed. So I'm going to keep that for now. Obviously, we get rid of this. And we get rid of that. And he gets like a chair at his desk now. So he can do his little homework on there. But can I get him like a little drawing table? Uh, which one is it? So he would have either had the science table or the one of these like creative tables. And he has definitely got the creative one. We don't really need this bottle anymore. <laughs> and we're not really going to be reading him to bed anymore. So I feel like we can buy some of this stuff for him instead. <gasps> It's letting me use the proper light for this room now as well, which is awesome. I don't know if the rug will have been fixed. No, the rug's still not fixed, you guys. Okay, so I've given him a drawing table in one half the room. And then, like, whatever. And this is, like, a painting one in the other. Giving him a little lamp in there. He's got, like, his proper little lamp here and one above his bed as well. And he's got his more grown-up bed. Oh, my gosh, I've left. I've left his little monster in, like, in the middle of nowhere. Where can I put him? Okay, I've shrunk him down and put him at the side of his bed. How cute is that, though, with the little wings on the back, too? I love that. There you go. Bit of a more grown-up room. Like, he's only... Like, he wouldn't just magically suddenly have a really super grown-up room. It's just a little bit more grown-up. Okay, I need to check on this party because stuff goes on here that I need to keep my eye on. And I don't know why people are hanging out in the bathroom. But I want these little guys to, like, reconnect together a little bit. Oh, my gosh. Emma. Emma was... I saw you then. She's trying to hide from me. She had, like, a super sad face on for a minute there. But apparently just being around the kids has made her happy again. Hanging out with Emily Roblins is the main reason that I enjoy the calorie aching. That's what little Faith has said. Does that mean she doesn't, like, usually get to hang out with her mum very much? But the fact that they're in the club together means she gets a little bit of time with her mum. And that's the main reason that she enjoys it. That's kind of, like, sweet, but also quite kind of sad. I'm also going to see if... She's gonna, he's gonna ask uh, little Faith if he can join the club as well because he's not currently in it. But look at this. Faith is his like good friend and his little cousin and they just get on really well together, which is really cute. Speaking of getting on well, let's hope nothing else is going wrong. Oh, and look, she just said uh, Calorie Club is the best. I love what Emily Robbins is doing with it. And Ryder has been accepted into the club as well. Jay is looking like super, super sad. And he's looking at, like, Jesse feeling super sad. And he's also looking at Emma feeling super bad, sad. Oh, my God. What, 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 what? Jesse, doomed relationship. Walked in on someone you really care about. Someone you really care for with someone else. You feel like caring a lot less about them right now. You know what that is? Because he saw Jay. She saw Jay with Emma. Jesse, what are you doing? You have this beautiful relationship. You have this, like, really happy family. And she's chatting with him. With, uh, sorry, with ever the one person they're kind of fighting for the same guy and i don't know why oh now her dad's come over to do a little chit chat with her that's cute but guys it's getting really late i'm thinking about burning the group off now also i've noticed that max and emma they're not like forcing things they're just taking things but she's still actually you know jay's girlfriend but also max is still trying to get over like the whole spells dying thing but he was just discussing moving with Abel then, so... You never know. You never know. Okay, these guys are going to sleep, so... I am gonna go ahead and end the gathering. Bye, guys. You all have to go home now, I'm afraid. Stop dancing. Start leaving. Bye. Ryder, you have to go to bed because it's your first day of school tomorrow. Good boy. Literally going to bed straight away. At least they'll get to hang out with Faith at school because they're the same age. But also Connor and Abel. We have a lot of kids right now. We have a lot of kids at the same age. And Jesse has work today. So I'm gonna join Jesse for work. It's a little bit awkward because you know, obviously Jay is there and she clearly has this a little bit of a you know, it might just be a temporary sort of sort of flirt mance that she's got going on. She's definitely feeling super, super sad about it. And she's in bed crying. Like lying in bed next to Roxy, having a cry about things. Which is not great. 
It's 4 a.m. Can you go, go back to sleep, please? No, forget that. Go back to sleep. <gasps> and she's woken Roxy up with the crying. But Roxy's just like, nah, I need to wee. Because these girls wake up and wee all the time. She's crying in her sleep, you guys. I don't know if I can catch her doing it. But she is definitely having a little cry in her sleep. <laughs> there you go. Crying in her sleep about things. Maybe, maybe it's just, I don't know, if you've been in a relationship a long time, especially these guys have had like two kids together. Sometimes the romance just dies out, you get a little bit unhappy and you start looking for the romance elsewhere. This is when you actually have to work on your relationship. And not wake up at 5am and start playing the piano, making the neighbour haters even more. Oh guys, she's still not a very happy bun bun. Jesse, you can't be so Oh no, now she's happy. She's looking at the Christmas decorations being like, those are happy. And then she's like, back to sadness. Straight back to sadness. Why are you eating a plate of cookies being sad? Jesse, that's not the way to combat your sadness with cookies. Meanwhile, what Roxy's working out her frustrations on the on the keys. On the keys. She still needs to get to level 10 on the piano as well. It's taking absolutely ages. Although, look. She's quite close. She's quite close now. <gasps> and Ryder's at his first day of school. Oh my gosh. Study hard, Ryder. And then you also need to make some friends in the afternoon, okay? Jesse wants to be mischievous to Selma. That's kind of weird. Okay, so we... Oh, what does she want to go do? Oh, she's about to go do something with Roxy. But we are joining Jesse today. So we can work on that rocket science skill. We're gonna have to ignore everything it tells us to do at work. Because it's like the job tells her like what she should be doing each day. We are going to ignore that completely and just focus on the rocket ship. I've never been to space in The Sims. Like, not even once have I been to space. So, it's collection day. Maybe for everyone else, but for us, it is. Is this the rocket ship? Oh, it's already being built a little bit, so we need to keep building it. Oh, she's so still so sad. Is Jay actually at work? I can't see him anywhere, which is a good sign. He's only a lab technician and she's always there. There he is. He's not come out to speak to her or anything. So why don't you just stay outside and work on your rocket ship, okay? Work on your rocket ship and work on your marriage. She, oh, she's only got one point of rocket science skill. So she definitely needs to build that up because otherwise we could be in big trouble. Oh my God, she's doing a good job. The rocket is up like a whole level, which is really impressive. I don't know how big it's meant to get because I was thinking of like getting one and shrinking it and kind of having that in the apartment. <gasps> and she's reached rocket science level two. But I kind of like the idea of her having a big one that she works on when she goes to work instead. She's not doing any of these things that she's meant to be doing though. Oh, what? What the hell? Jay is like, he's hiding behind the rocket ship. Oh no, he's not. He's helping her build it. He's meant to be helping her build this rocket ship. Although he's so much more junior than her. And they're doing like this synchronized building together. Please don't tell me you plan to fly away into space together because I don't like that. Wow, the rocket ship progress is really, really slow. The humor and hijinks festival is in town. It's going super slow and that is with two of them working on it. Now rocket science is still only at level two. This is a slow thing to happen. But luckily like the whole sadness emoji emotion thing is gone now. She's not feeling sad anymore. Okay, she finishes work in 15 minutes time. I figure she should at least say thank you to Jay for helping her all day. Please don't blow your faces off guys, okay? So that they can at least like they've got to work together. Their romance is kind of... I don't know. It's going down quite low, which is good. He's still got the whole romance thing, but they're just having a nice conversation together. Just a nice chit chat. Jessica did a terrible job today. You think that, you think that, but it's actually great. It's actually great because we were building our rocket ship, okay? Look, it's annoying though, because it's put her career performance down, but I really want to work on my rocket ship. So she's back home. This little cutie pie is obviously playing video games because you know, he's a little he's a little, a little geek, but in the most brilliant possible way. And he's hanging out with his little putty cat as well. Everything in the house is apparently broken, which is not great, but these guys are going to go and kiss. I don't know guys. I feel like their relationship has died a little bit, but as long as they work on it I think they will be okay. However, I don't know how much Roxy wants to uh, sorry Jesse wants to kind of have this work flirtation thing going on. Maybe she does. Maybe we do continue that because I know there's other social things you can do at work. Like you can flirt like covertly, covert covertly and stuff at work without anybody noticing and stuff. And I don't know. She's going to be spending a lot of time at work building this rocket ship so she can go to space. And if Jay's going to be there helping her, it's not going to help with the whole she definitely fancies him quite a lot business. 
But you guys have to let me know what I do in the comments below. And also, let me know what you think of Ryder with his new little look. I think he's super cute looking in his little Guardians of the Galaxy top. And I think he looks a lot like his mummies, which is nice. Let me know what you think of his design. Let me know what you think of his hair and everything and his clothes. If you guys see anything you think I should download, let me know in the comments below as well. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode of In the City and you're still feeling that awesome Christmas buzz. You're still off school. You're having a lot of fun. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Sims. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.